الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد Fasting is a means of forgiveness. It's a reality that none of us is perfect. We all have some weaknesses and shortcomings, and we find ourselves committing sins out of ignorance or out of submission to our desires and wills. We thereby drive ourselves away from Allah. We darken our hearts and we seal it from guidance. We overload our book of bad deeds. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said of himself that he is the most merciful, the oft forgiving. As part of his infinite mercy, he offers us many ways of earning forgiveness and absolute uh, forgiveness of our sins. Among the most important and beneficial of these ways of seeking Allah's forgiveness is fasting in general and in Ramadan in particular. Let us discover these glad tidings from the sweet words of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said, whoever observes fast during the month of Ramadan out of sincere faith and hoping to attain Allah's reward, then all his past sins will be forgiven. Whoever establishes prayers during the nights of Ramadan, and that's called Qiyam, faithfully and sincerely hope, hoping for Allah's reward, not for showing off, all his past sins will be forgiven. The supplication of the fasting person is granted. Jabir relates that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, in every day and every night, during the month of Ramadan, there are people to whom Allah grants freedom from the hellfire. And there is for every Muslim a supplication which he can make and it will be granted. Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there are three people whose supplication are not rejected. The fasting person when he breaks his fast, the just ruler and the supplication of the oppressed the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Indeed, there is for the fasting person, when he breaks his fast, a supplication which is not rejected. Fasting is a means of intercession on the Day of Judgment. Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma reported that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the fast and the Quran are two intercessors for the servant of Allah on the day of resurrection. The fast will say, O oh Lord, I prevented him from his food and his desires during the day. Let me intercede for him. The Quran will say, I prevented him from sleeping at night let me intercede for him and their intercession will be accepted. In Ramadan, there is Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree. Indeed, we have revealed it, the Quran, in the night of decree. And what will explain to you what the night of decree is? The night of decree is better 
than a thousand months. Therein they sent the angels and the spirit, Gabriel, by Allah's permission. On every earth they say peace continuously till the rise of the morning. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the blessed month has come to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made fasting during it obligatory upon you. During it, the gates of paradise are open <coughs> and the gates of hellfire are locked and the devils are chained. There is a night during the month, this month which is better than a thousand months. Whoever is deprived of its good is really deprived of, deprived of something great. Fasting in Ramadan away to the paradise. We have seen that Ramadan saves us from hellfire and saves us from our past sins and leading to forgiveness. Besides all this, and it would have been enough if it were only that, Ramadan leads the fasting believers to Il Jannah, the paradise. Paradise, that the house that contains what no eye had ever seen, what no ear had ever heard, what never crossed the mind of a human being, and that contains all that the human soul desires. If a person achieves taqwa, he or she is among al muttaqin Those who are fearfully aware of what angers Allah and who strive ever hopeful of His mercy. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in many places in the Quran says that the house of al muttaqin is in Jannah. And first, it is better for you if you knew. Once a companion of the Prophet وسلم, came to him and said, O Messenger of Allah, tell me of one act which will take me unto paradise and keep me away from the hellfire. Sallallahu said, You have asked me about a major matter. Yet, it's easy for him for whom Allah Almighty makes it easy. You should fast in Ramadan. Then the Prophet وسلم, said, Shall I not show you the gates of goodness? Fasting is a shield. Sahl ibn Sa'd reported that the Prophet وسلم, said, There is a gate to paradise that is called Arrayan. On the day of resurrection, it will say, Where are those who fasted? When the last one has passed through out the gate, it will be locked. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this Ramadan a means for us to attain taqwa. To earn forgiveness for our sins. To gain access to Al Jannah, where we can meet our Lord and enjoy His good pleasure. Allahumma maslih lana dinana alladhi huwa asmat amrina. Waslih lana dunyana alladhi fiha ma'ashina. Waslih lana akhiratana alladhi ilayha ma'adina. Waj'al al-hayat ziyadatan lana min kulli khayr. Wal maut rahatan lana min kulli shar. Wala taj'al al-dunya akbar hammina wala mablag almina. اللهم اشف مرضانا وارحم موتانا وبلغنا مما يرضيك آمالنا واختم بالباقيات الصالحات أعمالنا وأقم الصلاة